Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my December favourites for you guys. So, ee, I cannot believe it is almost 2016. I cannot come to grip with it at all. Oh my dear goodness. What is this madness? I don't even know. But anyway, I thought that I would share with you guys a few beauty favourites that I have either rediscovered or I just wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't have all that many to show you only because I am preparing for my yearly favorites which will be up in early January so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But yeah, so without further ado, let's jump in to my December favorites. So because it has been summer here in Australia, I did want to increase my SPF from SPF 15 to 30 to SPF 50. So how I've done that is I've been using the La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL Liquid in SPF 50 plus. This stuff is really, really good. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me oily or excessively oily more than normal. And it's just a really, really nice overall sunscreen. It's very, very liquid and you definitely need to shake it before you use it only because it's so liquid. But if you're in the market for a good sunscreen, definitely give this one a try. It's from the drugstore and it's really, really nice. Starting off with primer, I have been obsessed with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. This one I've been using basically all month and I have been adoring it. It fills in the pores so well and it just makes your skin feel so velvety smooth. Love that. Also for my base, or more my skincare, should I say. I've been obsessed with the Estee Lauder Idealist. I only have the small travel size, but I'm definitely picking up the larger size when Maya does their 10% off beauty and skincare sale again, because no joke, this stuff minimized the appearance of my pores significantly. Like I don't have very large pores to begin with, but this definitely did reduce the size of my pores. I used this the first time on Fran's birthday weekend. I put it on and then I hated how my foundation matched my fake tan that day. So I took it off and I looked at my skin and no joke, my pores were gone. I didn't even use pore cream that night. Like what is that? I didn't even use pore cream. That's when you know something is working. Okay, so a foundation that I've been loving for the past few months, and I don't think I've ever really talked to you guys about it, it's the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. This stuff is amazing. I have filmed a review video of it, so that will be up within the next few weeks, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that, but I just love this foundation so much. I have mine in the shade 110 Honey, if you're curious. So my favorite highlight and contour color as of recently have both been from Cover Effects. The highlight is in the shade moonlight and this is what it looks like here it's just the most gorgeous gorgeous like peachy highlight color it's what i have on my cheekbones today mixed with champagne pop i love it so much it's gorgeous and then i also have the shade suntan which is this one here this is what i use for contouring obviously um, and it's just a perfect cool tone but not too gray of a contour I'm not wearing it today. Ironically, I'm only wearing bronzer, but it is a really, really beautiful contour color. So I was shuffling through my collection and I did find the L'Oreal True Match kind of touch up pen kind of thing. I have mine in the shade W5, which is way too dark for me normally, like to just face conceal and stuff like that. However, it is an amazing corrector. It's very orange, so it does correct under eye dark circles very, very well. So if you're wanting a drugstore corrector, maybe give this one a try. It's definitely not the most pigmented thing in the world. You'll definitely need to go in with concealer over the top if you have dark under eye circles, but it is still very, very nice. And to go over the top of that concealer or touch up pen, whatever you want to call it, I have been obsessed with the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. I have mine in the shade 06. I also own 03, but I find that's just a little bit too light for me, especially with how tanned I am at the moment. But this is just an amazing concealer. You don't even need like a pin drop, like a pin head size, and it will literally do like one eye. It is so intensely pigmented. I love it so much, and it's perfect for nights when you're going out or when you just want to look glam. It's perfect. And then of course, we can't finish off the festive season without mentioning some red lip products. So the first one is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Rum. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you're looking for an intense red lipstick or liquid lipstick, should I say, definitely give this one a try. It is gorgeous and it dries so insanely fast. The lip liner that I've been using to line my lips with all these red lipsticks has been the Chi Chi Moulin Rouge lipstick or lip liner, should I say. It is just a really, really nice lighter red tone and it just lines 
it does the job, it lines the lips. And then I must also mention the Sugar Pill Pretty Poison Lipstick in the shade Nurse. This comes out in January, so it will be out very, very soon so you guys can get it. I did do a first impressions on this and it's actually what I'm wearing today. I love it so ridiculously much and I cannot wait to pick up other colours of this formula. Okay guys, so that is actually all of my favourites to share with you guys this month. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a wonderful and happy new year. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!